Hello everybody, this is Birdtree, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of rant video, and it's like, I was, when I first heard about this, I was infuriated, because like, you know, let, let, me ugh, let me just tell you what I'm mad about. When they, we have new information about the new Hitman game for next-gen consoles, and to my surprise, they're going the episodic route, and... That is one thing that does not work for a Hitman game, honestly. I am, um, I am a Hitman enthusiast. <clears throat> um, I love Hitman. And, like, I played Hitman 2, Hitman Contract, Hitman Blood Money. Even Hitman Absolution, which is, like, a decent Hitman game. That's all I'd say about it, but... That I'll, I'll just, I'll get into a video with Hitman Absolution one day. But, um... But basically, Hitman is now going the episodic route, which is really stupid because, one, it doesn't work for a Hitman game. Going an episodic route does not work for a Hitman game whatsoever. So, I'm in the homepage right now, which you're not going to be able to see, but I'll put a link to the description of the article that Hitman page actually posted. It said, now we've always said that we won't put anything out until it's ready, that means that we'll... That means what we release has to hit the quality level you have to, you have come to expect from a Hitman game. To ensure the level of quality, we made a big decision now on how we're releasing Hitman. After a lot of consideration, we're, we're just, we decided to take the full leap and publish Hitman as a truly episodic game experience with a major life component. Now, what I think about this? Come on, I are you serious? Like honestly, it just, Hitman does not work with the episodic route. There's gonna be a beta coming in like February 12th for the PlayStation 4, and then a week later the PC. But like, that is just so stupid, though. Like I heard that like one month there's gonna be one level, the intro, and then the Paris level. Then the next month there's gonna be the um another level and then next month there's gonna be another level and then next month there's gonna be another level and there's also this hitman collector's edition that i want to talk about for a bit that um i'll put a picture on the screen now but um the hitman collector's edition oh, I, I was like so happy when i heard this but then they give you the digital game download one thing i do not like is that I do not like digital. I'm not a digital gamer. Um, I don't. I don't download anything digitally. I tend to get the physical copy, but um, what it comes with is a tie and clip set, an art book with 60 pages that take you deeper into the world of assassination, which is totally not what we need. I think the only good thing is the Agent 47 chess master statue. That's the only good thing. Time might be cool, but whatever. And then we get the bo the game inside the box. Like, totally, hooray. We get a box, we get a giant box with a statue, a tie, and the digital version of the game. All right, so the new intro pack, which includes Prologue and Paris, will be priced at $15. Each su subsequent location can be purchased for $10 as an add-on item after you buy the new intro pack. If you buy the intro pack and want to get into everything the full experience offers, you can also choose to buy the upgrade pack for $50. This will give you access to the co all the content released after March 11th, which guarantees you won't miss any live or bonus content. Of course, you can still buy the full experience, which is the first, which is a complete first season. So all the content this year as it's released upfront for $60. As always promised, whether you purchase the complete game or buy each episode individually, we want to remind the company that there will be no microtransactions to Hitman. Which is good because, um, who, like, who wants my, microtransactions in a Hitman game? It also says if you prefer to wait, we will also ship the complete season on a disc at the end of 2016. They should have done, they could have delayed this game, honestly. They could have delayed this game. They still can if they want to. They don't have to go with this stupid episodic route. 
so um one of my favorite youtubers um named gypsy actually made a video on this called hitman goes full retard and the title does not lie it honestly just did go full retard because like hitman being an episodic game doesn't fit for a hitman game like i would give an example to uh hitman absolution which is like a decent Hitman game. It's there is no episodic things. There's literally just um it's uh just levels. It's just go to point A to point B. That's all it is. But it's still a decent Hitman game. It has some replay value, but um yeah. And like Hitman Blood Money, my favorite Hitman game ever. It like I love it to death. I s probably would still play it and have some enjoyment out of it. But um that was freaking fun. The contracts didn't really... I liked Hitman 2. It was struggling for me. But, oh, I think I'm getting off the topic here. But yeah, all I wanted to say is that this is just ridiculous. Honestly. Something for... Like, episodic does not go full on with Hitman. It doesn't fit. It does not fit whatsoever. If you want to get... If you want to have the full release, then just delay the game. Delay it. That's we won't be mad. We'll just understand that this game is gonna be a big hit. Should have been, but they decided to just go on and say, "Hey, let's be an up. Let's go the episodic route." It was totally give us more money than we are supposed to get when we can actually release the full game. We could really just delay it. Honestly, there's no no hard feelings. We can just we'll be fine if you delay it. We'll be fine. I can wait. But you going the episodic route is just terrible. It's just stupid, please. My, I just want to say this. If you can't finish the game in the matter of time that you delayed it, you can still fix your problems and delay the game. We won't have a problem with it, honestly. It will just build into more hype of the game. Anytime you're, like, literally, look at the footage. Look at the footage. Honestly, this was this level made me want to get a PS4 with Hitman. I was so excited to get it. Look, it, lo it looks finished, right? It looks so freaking amazing. It looks finished. But no, no, we have to get it in a later date. It looks finished, but no. We need to get it in a later date. But yeah, that's all I have to say about it. If you can't, you know, finish the game in time, there is no problem in delaying it. Like, please, Io. I'm just so dis I'm disappointed. I'm mad and disappointed. But I still at least have hope. I have hope for you guys to actually succeed with this game. I was anticipating on this game. I was so excited. I'm a big fan of the Hitman series. But please. Delay the game if you can't finish it in time. That's what you did the first time. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this um, little video, I'm just I'm true Hitman fan at its best, but like I just wanted to get my point. I just wanted to get my point across. Across. I had a, can't speak, but um, I just wanted to say what I think about this whole ordeal. I wanted to say what I think about the episodic route. It's going, and it honestly does not fit. It just shouldn't be episodic. Like, it's a game that should be played at its fullest. It shouldn't be episodic where we have to wait to get more levels. All Hitman games came exactly when it was supposed to be. A full game with all levels, nothing that is missing. But no, we have to get an episodic game, which we have to wait. For levels to come out, you can delay it, Io. I still have faith and hope. Just please, delay the game. I wouldn't even have a problem with it. I would just build up, it will build up more hype, honestly. But, um, uh, that's all I have to say about this, um, thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> please, delay it. Final words. Goodbye.